The judgment in this case will be delivered by Lord Reed. This appeal has been brought by a resident of St Andrews who is concerned about Fife Council's policies for the future development of the town as set out in the Fife Structure Plan for 2006 to 2026. She considers that the policies are liable to cause irreversible damage to the landscape setting of the town. She has objected to the policies at every opportunity during the procedure leading to the finalisation of the structure plan by the Council and during the subsequent procedure leading to its approval, subject to certain modifications by the Scottish Ministers. The principal question raised by the appeal is whether the Ministers have given adequate reasons for their decision to approve the structure plan subject to the modifications which they have made. The appellant submits that the reasons given did not adequately address her objections to the Minister's proposed modifications, and that there has in consequence been a failure to comply with the requirements of the relevant legislation. She contends that she has been substantially prejudiced by that failure, as the reasons given raise a doubt as to whether the Ministers have considered the impact of the structure plan policies upon the landscape setting of the town. That contention was rejected by the Court of Session, uh, both at first instance and on appeal to Vienna House. And she has appealed to the Supreme Court against their decision. The Supreme Court unanimously dismisses the appeal. It does so on the basis of a detailed consideration of the Minister's statement of reasons and of the other documents which have to be considered along with it, including a strategic environmental assessment carried out by the Ministers. The court concludes that the reasons given provide an intelligible explanation of why the ministers were not persuaded by the various objections, including those of the appellant. There has therefore been no failure to comply with the duty to give reasons. Furthermore, the court considers that there is in any event no question of the reasons given raising any doubt as to whether the ministers had taken account of the potential impact of the policies upon the landscape. That is particularly so when the reasons are considered together with the Minister's strategic environmental assessment, which had acknowledged the risks to the landscape and has envisaged that they would be taken into account when the policies were taken forward through the preparation of a more detailed local plan. A second issue raised by the appeal concerns the way in which expenses were dealt with in the Inner House. Uh, this court is, however, satisfied that the Inner House dealt with them in a way that is not open to further argument in this court. Finally, the court adds some observations about the types of case which are appropriately brought to this court and explains why this appeal did not fall into that category. <laughs> 